Week 11, problem 3. What is the frequency of light a wavelength 640 nanometers? What is the wavelength of a cell phone signal with a frequency of 850 megahertz? Got it. This one, you can totally get this. Not too bad. All right, so let's start with P for pen. So velocity equals, as zoom in, there we go. Velocity equals, let's see, distance divided by time, which is similar to wavelength times frequency. Therefore, we're trying to find, basically we're trying to find the frequency. We're trying to find frequency. So rearrange this guy, we have frequency equals, um, it's going to be V over lambda, except we know that the velocity, speed of propagation here, is going to be a speed of light. So, this is going to be 3 times 10 to the 8th, and more like 2.99, but close enough. Over 640 times 10 to the negative 9th meters. Okay, so this will be equals 3 divided by 640 times, ooh, do it this way, 640 times 10 to the first, 10 to the eighth, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter at all. That's okay, change that to 10 to the negative eighth, and then we have 3 over 64 times 10 to the 16th. That's a lot of a lot of frequencies. Because you got 10 to the negative 8th on the bottom, which then goes to mega. No. Yeah, nano. 640 nano. Yep. So let's do 3 divided by 64. We'll do 3 times 10 to the 16th. And we get 4.69 times 10 to the 14th equals 4.69 times 10 to the 14th, which is really big. Yeah. All right. Just check the math real quick. So we're looking for frequency. Check. And we're given a wavelength. Check. So frequency equals speed over wavelength, 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 640 times 10 to the negative 9th. Yep. Yeah, that seems reasonable. So I'm going to call this, round a little bit more, 4. Nah, I was saying 4.69 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Many, many hertz. All right. What is the wavelength of a cell phone frequency? of 850 megahertz. Okay, so we have 850 megahertz. So I'm gonna call it 10 to six hertz. So do this again, we have velocity equals distance divided by time, which is wavelength, because it meters, and then hertz, frequency, right there. So we're looking for wavelength. So lambda equals V over F, which is three times 10 to the eighth divided by 8.5, or 8.50, times 10 to the sixth. Cancel this out, we 10 squared, that will be gone. So 300 divided by 850. Yep. 300 divided by 850. We get, bum, 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 mm, I'll say 0 0.353. 0 0.353 meters, which seems reasonable. Um, yeah, I'll say that's a winner. So this, this one, not too bad, just use your formula. Um, speed of light equals lambda times frequency. And the way I remember that formula, is I remember the velocity equals distance divided by time. Which again, I remember because my car goes in miles per hour, which is the speed. All right, sound good? This guy's not too bad. On to problem four.